big battle brewing in the music business. Superstar Taylor Swift abruptly pulling all of her albums from the streaming service Spotify just days after the release of her hot new album, 1989. Well, now Spotify is working very hard to try to win her back. And Rebecca Jarvis has our story. It looks like Taylor Swift is never, ever getting back together with Spotify, the number one streaming service in the world. After Swift and her music label abruptly pulled her entire catalog from the service, which has 40 million subscribers. Swift has never seemed a big fan of streaming services, writing in the Wall Street Journal last summer that piracy, file sharing and streaming have shrunk the numbers of paid album sales drastically, and every artist has handled this blow differently. The move sets up a showdown with industry powerhouse Apple, where Swift's music is still available on iTunes. For her new album, 1989, the singer had an exclusive agreement for a track-by-track -track release on iTunes. And on Beats, a streaming service which Apple acquired last January. 1989 has had an incredible opening week run with 1.3 million copies sold, but Swift didn't release 1989 on the service. Insiders speculate Swift has always been wary of Spotify, initially refusing to release her 2012 album Red to the service. Spotify says they hope Swift will change her mind and join us on building a new music economy that works for everyone. And from what I'm hearing this morning, Taylor Swift isn't the only artist planning to go this exclusive route. Rumor has it Beyonce's new album is going to be dropping November 14th, also exclusively on iTunes. And Robin, the thing here is this changes how we listen to music. It also can change how we pay for music, what we pay for music, most importantly. Yep, stay tuned, that's for sure.